So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you do your updates using the RT screen and the DJI Mini Free Drone. There's been quite a few updates over the past couple of weeks, and I believe the past couple of days there has been a new update. So the first thing we want to check out first is to make sure that the app on the RC screen is up to date. So we just turn that on. It doesn't take long to just do a quick check. Now, as you can see, we've got the red light, which means it's not connected to the drone yet, but we just want to check out that the DJI Fly app is up to date. And what we can do here first, which we just check on the screen that we're connected first to the internet. Uh, obviously I've got my screen record on. Well, I'm not gonna put my screen record on, so I don't need that. So everything's there looking fine. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna turn on the drone. So turn on the drone. Now what I've found lately is I have to make sure I press that button so you get that night you get that little sound that sound there so you know that's connected and as soon as that red light changes we know so we're connected and I shouldn't have pressed that but anyway it doesn't make any difference so both the drone and the controller uh, are functional now obviously I'm I'm in my basement, so we're not going to expect to get any satellite signals. That would be a miracle. What we're going to do now is go up in the top right-hand corner where the three dots are and go to About. Now we've got the aircraft firmware and we've got the RC firmware, which is, as you can see there. So I'm going to do the aircraft first. So it said there's a new update. So just press update. Now this is when we've got to keep an eye on this drone that it doesn't overheat because we've got to remember guys that there's no fan in this drone. And that's what used to keep the drone cool. If it gets too hot, what it will do, it will just um, shut down. Okay, so what you will see there, you will see it's been, the drone is dis disconnected. And it's saying that the, it's, what it's done is the actual drone is overheated. So I've got to turn it back on again. And what I've done, if you can't see, I've actually um, okay, you see the lights change now. I'm just going to bring back the controller a little bit. So, 
looks like it's installing the update now. Lights are flashing. So, in a sense, the drone is disconnected from the controller. So, obviously, guys, when you're doing all this, make sure that the drone is fully charged. I've already used one of the lights on the battery there. So, I'm down to three lights and one's flashing. The controller is nearly fully charged. But it does look like now that when you're doing your updates now, guys, you're going to need some sort of fan. Because when I first did it, it shut down because the drone had overheated. So, looks like something else you've got to add to your ad list when, especially doing the Mini 3. Now, here in Spain, the temperatures are pretty high at the moment. Outside, it's about 38, but indoors, I'm in the basement. We're probably still talking about So that's look at, I'm going to keep the fan on for the moment. So the update's been done. I just want to check that everything's up to date on that stage of it. So I go back into about. Um, so that's the new update. For that one, I got fly safe data. I can check that later on. That other noise you can hear is my spotlight. Um, I'm just seeing what else is down there. So there's there's the app version, which is 1.6.6. That's the app for the Fly app. I'm just going to check it again, just to be on the safe side. Firmware is up to date. I'm going to do the Fly Safe data, and we see what happens there. Now that needs an update. Right, we'll see how long that's going to take. Now, the fly safe data is all to do with no fly zone areas. Obviously, they're always updating that all the time, um, you know, to do with airports, military establishments, obviously, places of uh, interest, but not for drone people. And it's always best to make sure everything's up to date so you're going to get no problems later on, especially when you go out flying. You, you fly out there, and I've done an update on that. Now, obviously, if I use my uh, phone or my, my iPad, I'm going to have to do a, a quick update on that. But at the moment, I'm just going to, obviously, I'm sticking with it. So it's all updated. So, I'll just go back into it. Now, something else that I was told, always check your settings. Now, I'm on break. Um, and just make sure nothing's been changed. Return to home heights. They're all looking good. Your controller. I'm, I'm in the Imperial. Um, got my folly mode because sometimes that does happen when you do an update sometimes it just changes for some reason so it's always worth checking it's all and if you can do all this before you go out 
Okay, so we're all done. So what we can do now, we can just turn off the drone. Turn off the controller. And turn off the fan. <laughs> so I hope you found that interesting. Um, it's always a learning curve, guys, when you're doing these updates. Um, they've changed so much over the years, but they do seem to be getting a lot better now and a lot less problems. But as you saw there, the drone overheated, it shut down by itself. So I think it's worth investing in something. I mean, I've seen guys, I, I don't know if it's a good idea of using an ice block underneath it, but I don't know if that's a good idea because it's water and things like that. But I'm sure around the house, somebody's got a little uh, USB type fan and it, it don't cost much, but it looks like this is gonna be the sort of thing you're gonna need now, especially for updates. And I would imagine over the next couple of weeks or even months we're going to be probably getting a lot of updates to do with this boy anyway as always fly safe and i'll catch you on another video mm -hmm.